Well, when healthy, Raging Ally Aquinta has proven himself to be one of the best lightweights in the world. Devastating knee injury took away several years of his prime. This is a guy who had a win over Kevin Lee not all that long ago, has also turned back the likes of Rodrigo Dom, stopped Ross Pearson, Joe Lozon, win over Jorge Masvidal as well. So Ally Aquinta, since coming off of the Ultimate Fighter Live, has been a contender really every step of the way. Once again, this well-rounded athlete will look to put it all together tonight. This guy has devastating takedowns. The ability to get his opponent to So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 18 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, New York, Raging Al Iaquinta! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, El Diablo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, your third man in the hey, octagon look, look, here ready? tonight. You ready? Here go, we go. All right, good to see Raging Ally Aquinta back inside the octagon. Round one is underway here. Great combinations from Iaquinta. You know he can lean on the wrestling if need be. Figures to go to the takedown at times in this particular matchup, but we have seen major strides made when it comes to Iaquinta's striking. Ray Longo certainly deserves a lot of credit for that. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early, they will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. Lift him with the jab. Very nice shots landing. Oh, strong punch there by Raging Ally Aquinta. These guys throwing early. Oh, a huge block there. Iaquinta just missing with that big right. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it, so let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. He's got a guillotine. Looking for that guillotine choke. He drops down for it. Wraps the leg around the back. Flips him over into the mount. It's getting close. Tremendous pressure on the neck. Oh, oh my God. God! Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here's the end of the fight.
And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, so there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I gotta mute those naysayers. And they're not gonna keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.